If you're a boy watching this for any reason at all and you've ever considered sliding into my DM, please don't. Hey guys, what's up? I have been wanting to make a video over the best DMs I've gotten. And by best, I mean fucking creepy and horrifying. And now I just kind of feel like I have enough to make a fucking video. So I would like to take this opportunity to roast all the fucking fuck boys of Tinder, DM, whatever the fuck that I've accumulated. Let me tell you though, I get creepy fucking DMs like weekly. Like seriously, like the creepiest fucking men sliding into my DMs. Or what's even creepier is when like fucking like middle school ass kids who have in their bio like blah blah middle school class of 2018. You graduate middle school in 2018. Sorry, that was me just trying to gouge my fucking eye out. Reason number 765,000 why I don't want a fucking kid. Because one day, that kid is gonna ask for a fucking iPhone, probably at like the age of seven. And then they're gonna fucking make a little Instagram. Haha, <laughs> elementary school, class of 2032. And I'm gonna be like, fuck. No, I don't need my little baby ass son sending girls nasty ass messages as a child and I don't need my baby ass daughter receiving creepy ass messages from men as a child. What world do we fucking live in? Jesus Christ, pray for the future generation. Fuck the millennials. Fuck us. No one needs to pray for us. We'll figure it the fuck out. But the next generation, ooh, like when we, like when we the millennials have children, ooh, Ooh, let's all say a fucking prayer right now because if they aren't asking for iPhone at age six, you know they're gonna be asking fucking for the new like holographic Pornhub site or some shit. Guaranteed, guaranteed that is gonna be a thing in the next like 40 years. We're gonna have like holographic porn videos. So not only can our children just like Google sex and Google porn and find horrible, horrific images online to look at, it's gonna be holographic so they can watch it in 3D. I don't know, the world's fucked, it's going to shit. Let's get into the TMs. Okay, this lovely message was a Tinder message that I received way back in the day from a lovely, lovely man named Rob. <clears throat> I'm going to be honest. Well, that's fucking good. I fucking like honest men. I don't want to date you. Okay, now this is going a little south, but I really want to show you how I use this nine inch cock. That was because he put a winky face. But the best fucking part, the best part is, I usually don't reply to creepy ass messages because like, get the fuck away from me. But I did reply to this one and my response got me blocked. Sorry, Rob. <clears throat> I'm going to be honest. I don't want to date you or see your four asterisk asterisk inch cock. <laughs> That's how you pwn an asshole. Okay, this is from an account called Beautiful Tahoe. This is literally not even coming from a person's personal account. This is coming from a human being that's running an account for pictures of Lake Tahoe. It reads, you probably have the best butt on the internet. I'd like to buy more risque pics from you if you have them. I could pay you on PayPal or Square Cash. Let me know if you're interested. Ugh, of all the ways that I could make fast cash in the world of 2017, sending you beautiful Tahoe risque pictures of my ass is definitely one of the ways that I wanna make some money. What's even better though than this though, I don't have a screenshot of this, but I have gotten literally, I kid you not, at least five DMs from creepy fucking men, like the creepiest fucking looking men, like 60 year old men with beards that are like sitting in their house with their fucking beer belly, like jacking off all fucking day. Literally the nastiest of men have DM me asking me if I would send them my used panties in the mail for money. And on two of those occasions, I've been told that if I've made the panties a thong, cause then you know, I guess it's just really all up in there with my juices and shit, they'd pay me some extra money. Honestly, it really is a very easy fucking way to make money. Like wear underwear for a day, send it in the mail, maybe get PayPal's 50 bucks. It's easy. I could probably be rolling in fucking money if I wanted to do that shit. Unfortunately, my moral compass says no. This one's good as fuck. This is one of the best fucking messages I've ever received. Be my sex partner. Can you like at least fucking ask? Demanding as fuck. It gets better though, because then he follows that with be my bitch my darling, 
and my dearest friend. I'm just fucking confused because I don't really understand how I can be like your dearest friend, like someone that you confide in, like your go-to A1 day one, but then also be your darling, like your lover, like your girlfriend, but then also be your bitch. Honestly, out of all of those choices, I think sex partner might be the best fucking viable option. Next, this is not a DM or a Tinder message. This is even fucking better. This is the third time that this has happened to me since being in college. So on average, like once per year, which is two fucking many times. Backstory for this shit. I ordered a Domino's pizza a few months ago. The pizza comes to my house. The pizza delivery boy gives me the pizza. I go inside, I eat my fucking pizza. 15 minutes later, I get a text message from a random number. It says, it's against store policy to text our customers, but you are absolutely with you, I'll make an exception. Are you an FSU student? Did you pass 10th grade? Maybe you should be minoring in English, boy, not me. He then continues, if are interested on hanging out later, I'll pretty much be working all night. Well, how the fuck can I hang out with you later if you're working all night? Literally, it is illegal as fuck to like take numbers from people for like business purposes and then text them personal things. I've also had a Jimmy John driver hit me up like super sexually like, Oh, like, eh, you're so fucking hot. Like, if you want to, like, oh, well, well, well. later, I'm down. Can't trust delivery boys, man. They're the lead in every porno for a fucking reason. Next, this is a DM. Ugh, gotta fucking love DMs. This DM reads, good morning, Brighton. Props to him for knowing my name's Brighton because so many people message me calling me Victoria. That's not my fucking name. If my name was Victoria, then my Insta name would be Victoria Brighton. It's Brighton Victoria because my first name's Brighton and my middle name's Victoria. You'd think that'd be pretty easy to figure out, but a lot of people are stupid. Anyway, back to this fucking DM of hell. I know we don't know each other, and I know you probably have a lot of guys after you, but please excuse me. I'm Nehemia, and I hope I'm not being a bother, but I just want to say that you are the definition of beauty, and I'd like a chance to generally get to know you if that's cool with you. I mean, this message is actually nice and not that creepy. I just thought it was fucking funny that he called me the definition of beauty. I mean, I kind of am though, right? Props to you, Nehemia Nahim, Nehemia. Props to you for not being a sack of shit to me in my DM. Next message. Hey there, my name is Zane. Zion. I swear the people with the weirdest names like me because I have a weird name, they're like, oh, we have weird names, like we're compatible. No. Hey there, my name is Zane slash maybe Zion. I'm 20, and believe it or not, we are gonna end up madly in love. Probably not gonna fall in love with someone who's younger than me. Mama's boat don't float that way. But again, thank you for not talking to me about your penis or showing me your penis. The funny things about DMs is if a guy tries to send you a dick pic, <laughs> Instagram blurs out the image and it literally says, this image has been blurred to protect your eyes. And then you have to click it to like unblur it and it's like literally always a dick. Okay, this was a weird ass fucking message I got. Let me know if any of you have ever gotten a message like this. I don't know if this is a legit thing or like a super scam where I'm gonna get fucking sold into sex trafficking. I don't fucking know. But it was a message from a girl or at least an account that looked like it was a girl. You never really know who's running Instagram accounts, you know? Catfishing is fucking real. And if it's a really long message, I don't wanna read the whole thing, but basically it's just like, I wanna tell you about this life-changing opportunity. I, along with four other women, Skype a super rich guy from London slash Dubai. He pays me $40,000 a month just to Skype him. His offer is simple. All you have to do is send him a message on Kick. he'll show you the video evidence, and then you get your first full payment after your Skypes. If you still have any doubts, you can DM blah, 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 all the other girls, I guess, that do this with this man to know that I'm legit. What? This cannot, this like literally cannot be legit. Like there's no way some man in Dubai is just so rich that he wants to give 40K a month to random girls that he Skypes. Unless the Skyping is supposed to be like webcam shit, which I am not about that life. I'm not about any of this type of life. I don't do this shit. I don't fuck with this shit. I don't wanna be fucking sold into sex slavery. I block things like this, and any of you that get messages like this should too, because it's creepy. Also messages that are claiming to be messages from like famous photographers being like, I'll fly you out to New York to shoot you, like I'll make you famous. I had a guy message me once saying that he was in charge of booking the talent for Playboy and wanted to know if I had any like pictures I could send in to see if I'd be interested in doing Playboy. All this shit that sounds super glamorous, right? Like I'm gonna be famous, I'm gonna be in Playboy. For the record, I don't wanna be in Playboy. 
Emily. Fuck no. Literally watch the Netflix documentary on this shit. Girls fall for that shit and literally get flown to New York or whatever and then get picked up at the airport by some creepy ass man who then locks them in a house for years and they're literally then a prostitute slash sex slave for this man who is their pimp and not at all a famous photographer. Seriously, a message to girls, be wary about certain messages because this kind of shit is not flattering to me. It's not interesting to me. I don't care about $40,000 a month. I care about living my life for another at least 40 fucking years by not getting murdered by you fucking creeper. Next. This one was good as fuck, good as fuck because of this message. This message, you guys, came directly from a middle schooler who in his bio has like blah blah middle school graduating 2018 so like what this kid's in literally seventh grade if i ever have a son in seventh grade that is using instagram for purposes like this his iphone will be smashed with a hammer and he will not see technology again until the age of 21. hey can you send me some nudes, please? That is like the most casual way you can ask. That's the same as saying like, hey, can you help me out with the uh, school homework tomorrow? Like so fucking casual. Hey, can you send me some nudes, please? Motherfucker, you're in seventh fucking grade. That is so motherfucking disgusting. Like that is just fucking creepy. My age is in my bio. You know I'm a motherfucking adult and you know you're a minor. What the fuck? This DM though. This one really hit the nail in the coffin. This one was so flattering because somehow this guy knew that my biggest life goal is to be a prostitute. <clears throat> hey girl, wanna have sex? I'll pay you $2,000. <gasps> oh my God. The fact that he thinks that I would only be $2,000 and for that, it's gonna be a fucking hard no from me. This guy from Tinder, Josh, wearing a suit and tie in his photo. You'd think he'd be respectable. He messaged me, April 12th, 2016, 5.35 p.m. If you can make me come by giving me head, I'll buy you a Range Rover. Oh my God, oh my God, all I wanted in life is to find a successful husband that I can blow and who can buy me things like Range Rovers. That's all I've wanted. I've never, ever, ever aspired to have my own career and make my own money and buy my own Range Rover. Choke on it. And then to conclude this shit storm of what not to say ever to girls if you're sliding into their DMs. Are you that hot? Or is it Photoshop? Bitch, I'm ugly. Oh my God, my mind is literally blown. I can't even believe it. Literally, if you're a guy watching this, never say any of those things to a girl ever. If you're gonna slide into a DM, just be like, hey, what's up? And maybe if she likes you, she'll reply. If not, cut your losses and move the fuck on because at the end of the day, you're a motherfucker that's sliding into DMs. Enough said. Well guys, I love you. Thank you so much for watching. Girls, please fucking comment below the best DM or Tinder message that you've ever received. I would like to spend the day laughing my fucking ass off. If you want to check me out on social media, which you totally should, I'll put the usernames to my Instagram and my Snapchat down below. And if you'd like advice over anything, because I do do advice series, I just said doo-doo. Email to my advice submissions will be down below as well. Peace out, guys. Good luck with your DMs.